Skyler. If you want to use TomTom Tom on your iPod Touch, there's an app for that. So let's go to the App Store and uh, take a gander. So the TomTom Tom application uh, gives you turn-by-turn -turn navigation and uh, a couple of other different features. TomTom's data set is awesome. So for $49.99, it might be worth your money. If you have a TomTom uh, -tom device for your car that actually gives you GPS, then it might be even worth more money to you. Um, but really, to install it, all you have to do is just search for it in the App Store, tap the price, pay your 49 bucks, and you're off to the races. It's a pretty cool application. I mean, the, the real-time traffic monitoring, all that sort of stuff. Um, obviously, you're going to have to come up with some sort of internet connection for your car because an iPod Touch isn't going to communicate with the cellular data towers. Um, so maybe uh, an iPhone uh, running in a, um, a personal hotspot mode or an iPad. Uh, both those things will allow you to do that. And then there are myriad of devices from uh, every wireless carrier in the world that allow you to generate a personal hotspot wherever you are. Um, so those are some options. Uh, also, it's important to note that if we go to Maps on your iPod and then roll up this little corner, come on, there we go. Guess what? It says Data from TomTom Tom right here. So Apple's Maps application, which provides turn-by-turn -turn navigation, I might add, actually draws from TomTom's data set. So it would be kind of redundant to install it again. There you go. How's that for an answer? I'm Skyler. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.